Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. Today I'm sketching a kingfisher and actually um, I had planned to, to do this sketch and then the other day I actually saw one and I hadn't seen a kingfisher in I think over 15 years so that was a really cool coincidence I think. Um, they're really beautiful birds so uh, I, I actually saw him just for a minute he was sitting in a tree um, calling very loudly which is what led me to to take a closer look and then he flew away but um, yeah so they're really beautiful birds and as you can see I'm doing a quick sketch here uh, just very loosely um, drawing the shapes uh, the outline of the bird and then a few details so I'm working from a reference here I didn't manage to get a photograph of the bird he was gone in a second but um, yeah I had to adjust the angle of the bill a little bit so you will see me changing that angle so he uh, in this photo he actually moves his head towards the camera a little bit and I will change this to to make it resemble the pose in the photograph a little bit better and here you can see I'm already starting to lay down some watercolor onto the paper and this is Talo blue which is such an intense blue and I don't use it very often um, uh, as a pure color to, to work with. But in this case I thought it, it's really fitting because this little bird has such intense colors uh, on his feathers. You can see on the back I've toned down the color actually a little bit with um, burnt umber and with a little bit of orange to give it this more turquoise look. And I'm adding a little bit of gray for the darker parts of the tail and the primary feathers here. Adding in a little bit of toned down orange, so this is orange with a little bit of red, a little bit of uh, burnt umber. And I'm painting the same dark red or dark orange color on the belly of the bird, so I'm indicating a few of the, uh, the more textured, the more shadowed areas. And now I'm using a pure version of that transparent orange to paint in the lighter uh, areas of, of the bird where um, it has these bright orange patches. I'm using a little bit of grey and dioxazin violet to paint the bill of the bird. So just the dark parts for now we will come back later and then add a little bit of the light parts. And I'm also using the same mixture for the eye. And as you know if you've seen um, more of my videos I always like to paint in the eye fairly at the beginning so that I have sort of a, a living animal that looks back at me and this makes it a little bit easier. So as you can see when the paint dries it's a little bit darker. I'm uh, starting to add little details like these toenails and um, more information on the eye. And here I'm using a little bit of buff titanium to add a, a, just a bit of shadow to the white parts of the neck and uh, the throat. Adding another layer to the eye to make it a little bit darker and add more contrast. And as you can see I'm mixing my blue and my gray here, or my black, to add these areas around between the eye and the beak. That These are often areas that are a little bit uh, difficult to match in some birds. And here are some orangey feathers, some orange parts. And now I'm taking um, a thicker version, a less diluted version of the, the orange, the transparent orange, and just going over the areas that I painted before. And I'm using my brush in small motions and now I'm deciding just to go for it and cover the entire belly with um, this very thin layer of orange. You can see the 
shadows that I painted in earlier are shining through. So this is not, not lost work that I did. And I'm adding a few more textured areas. So they will sink into the wet color a little bit, but some of them will stay. And here I've added a little bit of uh, red on burnt umber to indicate the, the shadowy areas. I'm adding another layer to the feet. And now I'm working on the beak again, so it's uh, a bit lighter on the upper side as the light shines from above and it has a shadow on uh, below on the lower side. So now I'm starting to add texture with my brush in these little dabbing motions and this is a very concentrated amount of Talo blue so um, I'm adding in the darker parts on the head with these brush strokes. Also on the wings as you can see in a minute. And again in the area of the shoulder, so the scapular region, I will add a little bit of uh, orange, so this is more of a greenish blue. And while the other part of the wing dries, I'm working again on the bill. So I'm jumping around on each part of my painting to let some areas dry and to refine other areas. Here I'm adding a few details around the feathers, but not too much. And I'll actually go in back later with some colored pencils to make um, the details a little bit more visible so I don't have to do it all in watercolor and this is actually a great technique that I like very much when I'm sketching. So here you can see I'm taking another bit of this very concentrated paint, Talo Blue. Oh, actually I think I mix it with Indent Throne Blue which is a bit darker. And here I'm using my colored pencil to add a, a few lighter strokes make the contrast a bit a bit more visible. I'm also adding some dark lines and I'm using white gouache which is mixed with just a little bit of blue to add these these speckles, these flecks. And I'm also adding a little bit of structure to, to the wings here. And now I'm using a dark blue or a violet blue colored pencil to redefine some of the, the single feathers that I overpainted earlier to make them stand out a little bit more. And so I didn't want to ignore the branch that the Kingfisher is sitting on completely and I decided to just indicate it with my fountain pen. Really finding a few last things. So at this point the sketch is really finished and I'm adding some types. So the German name, the English name and the Latin name.
And since I had this fun encounter with the bird, I decided to add a little bit of text below the sketch about that. So that's it for today. I hope you found this video enjoyable and useful. And if you want to learn more about sketching birds, I do have a longer video series entirely about sketching birds, completely with uh, lessons on anatomy and on sketching, on using watercolor. And I'm currently offering all my sketching classes, including this one, for a very low price. So if you want to keep occupied, then um, check this out. I'll leave a link below. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, happy sketching.